welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to the video and welcome to another book haul. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time since I filmed a book haul video and I have a lot of books to talk about. There are 50 plus books in this book haul today as well as a giveaway so it's going to be quite a lengthy video. I apologize. I will try to keep my explanation on synopsis and each of these books quite short and sweet just to keep this video, you know, maybe under an hour would be great. <laughs> But there's a lot of things to talk about and like I mentioned there is a giveaway so if you're interested in winning something make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll explain everything and what you can win. So I did break these up into categories. Basically books I bought myself and books I got in subscription boxes because there are a ton of them. I didn't set them up in genre order like I usually do. I was trying to set this up quick because my baby is currently napping and I want to get this done before he wakes up. So without further ado let's get into it. We're going to start with books I bought myself and I'm going to go ahead and just go over an entire author that I bought a ton of books of. Um, it's Tate James. <laughs> I bought a lot so let's talk about it. Okay so I'm pretty sure in my last book haul I hauled the first book in this series in the discreet cover at least and that is the next two books in the Haiti series by Tate James, Anarchy and Club 22. I am purchasing the discreet covers before I get the reg regular covers because I'm afraid that these are gonna go out of print and I won't be able to snag them up. So I do have these. I'm very excited. I only have one more and it should be coming in in the next couple of days before I complete my discreet editions, which is great. Um, if you don't know what the Haiti series is about, it is a series that follows in the same world as Madison Kate, which is the first series. It's a reverse harem. Why choose? Um, three guys, one girl. It's fantastic. It's so much fun. Lots of trigger warnings, so check them out. But I do recommend you read the Madison Kate series before jumping into the Haiti series. Speaking of the Haiti series, I also picked up the first two books in the original covers um, in that series, The Seventh Circle and Anarchy. I also mentioned Madison Kate. I am also picking up the discrete covers in the Madison Kate series. I picked up Liar and Fake for this round. I have one more coming my way and one more that I still need to order before I complete my collection of these, but I absolutely love these discrete covers and I needed them for my collection, so I'm so glad that I was able to snag these up. And the Madison Kate series is also Why Choose, Three Guys, One Girl. Again, ton of trigger warnings, fantastic series. This is one of my favorite series, if not my favorite series of all time. I should say romance, that is, because you guys know my favorite series of all time is Crescent City, but I'm saying like in the romance category, that one takes the cake. I also am starting my collection of the Guild series, which also takes place in the same world, Shadow Grove, as Madison Kate and Hades, but this one follows two contract killers as well as um, another man who is met in very interesting circumstances. It is a Why Choose polyamorous relationship. Very fun, very, very, very dark though. So again, check the trigger warnings, but this one is fantastic as well. And I swear I'm almost done with Tate James. The last two books that I picked up are the first two books in the Kit Davenport series by Tate James, obviously. We have The Vixen's Lead and The Dragon's Wings. There are six books in the series as well as a novella, and I'm slowly grabbing these so I can add them to my collection. Eventually I will own all of her books, but we're slowly getting there. <laughs> and like I said, it's been a long time since I filmed a book haul, so I've picked these up over the last three months, not all in one month, I promise. Up next, we have duplicate copies of It Starts With Us by Colin Hoover. I do have the paperback as well as the Waterstones exclusive edition with the really beautiful sprayed edges. Um, I did already read this, five out of five stars, loved this. This is the sequel to It Ends With Us and it is the conclusion of Lily and Atlas's story. So if you have not already read It Ends With Us, I highly recommend it and I did really enjoy the conclusion. Speaking of Colleen Hoover, I also picked up the anniversary edition or I think that's what they're calling it. Oh, the collector's edition of Verity by Colleen Hoover. This is one of her darker romantic suspense stories. I really enjoy Verity. I think it's a fantastic book. The twist at the end of this book is just absolutely bonkers and I really really love it. So again if you haven't read this one highly recommend it. Um, this one follows a girl named Lowen and she gets asked to ghostwrite the end of a series because Verity the author has been in an accident and cannot continue the series so she goes to this author's house to go through her notes and figure out how to write the ending of this very well-known popular series but when she gets there Verity is acting very strange and it's also a romantic aspect between her and Verity's husband. Uh, really, really bonkers. Highly recommend it. I also picked up the last and final book in the Wicked Villain series by Katie Robert, Queen Takes Rose. I just have one more book in the series that I don't own, and that is the one with Tink and Peter Pan and Hook. But I did do a 24-hour readathon where I read the rest of the books in the series, this one included, and I had such a fun time with it. If you have not seen that video, I will link it in the cards above. It was so, so much fun. But yes, this is the last book, and this one is um, Maleficent and... Aurora but in this it's called Aurora and Malone um and it was interesting I liked it it was good it was hot it was sexy but uh I'm, I'm really glad that I finally finished up the series another short one that I picked up is The Emperor of Evening Stars by Lawrence Lassa this is the novella that goes in between the second and third book in the 
Bargainer series. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot the name. Um, I do own this short story collection in my bookish box editions. It's a bind up. So I wanted to pick up the regular cover um, to go with my other paperback books. So I decided to pick this one up. I can't really explain it too much since it is novella partway through the series, but it's a really fun fantasy romance book. I've talked about it quite a bit. I do compare it a lot to Sarah J. Mass. So if you really like Sarah J. Mass's writing and her storylines, I think you'll really like this series. The first one is called Rhapsodic. Highly recommend it. One I feel like everyone is hauling during this time is A Very Merry Romance by Lisa K. Adams, the fifth book in the Romance Book Club series, one that I'm very, very excited to get to. That being said, I have not read book four yet, but I absolutely needed to pick up the holiday romance since we are, of course, in the middle of the holidays. I'm hoping to get to this one this month since it is on my Merry Book Miss TBR, so hopefully I will get to it and love it. This one follows Colton, who I believe is a country singer, maybe? And Gretchen, who we met um, in maybe, I think it was Undercover Romance we met Colton. I'm sorry, Gretchen. So I'm excited to give this one a go. I've heard good things so far about the reviews, so hopefully I love this one. I also picked up the group book for Mary Book Miss this round, which is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. If you guys are seeing this in December and you would like to join the Mary Book Miss Readathon, it is a perfect time to do so. There are 12 prompts, but you can always double up, triple up, quadruple up, um, and you can probably find that some of the books that you've already read this month will probably fit into the prompts that we have this round, but this is the group book. We'll be interviewing Emily McIntyre on January 7th at 3 p.m. EST on Mel's channel, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this one. Um, this is a dark Peter Pan retelling where Hook and Wendy end up together. So I'm very excited to give this one a go. I've heard really good things and I'm excited to pick up the rest of the books in the series as well. Then I picked up a fantasy romance that I've heard nothing but good things about. I honestly don't even know the synopsis of this, but when I saw somebody reveal Under the Dust Jacket, I was like, thank you, I need that. And that is Daughter of No World by Carissa Broadbent. Um, it is the fantasy romance. It is a, I think a three or four book series so far, and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, I don't really want to know the synopsis. I'm very content going in blind and learning my way through it, but it does look absolutely amazing. And again, I've heard nothing but good reviews. Then Absolute Steel, I picked this up at like a little book cart for a dollar fifty, and that is Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell. It is the Illuminate edition. It is also signed by the author. It was a complete steal, but I'm very excited to have this in my life because it is a sci-fi that I have been really interested in reading. It is LGBTQI plus as well as a really just fun space romance that I've heard really really good things about. I don't really know the full in-depth synopsis of this book but like I said I've heard good things so hopefully I can get to this one soon. I don't read a ton of sci-fi but I am very excited to read it nonetheless. Also in that little cart that I picked up Winter's Orbit I also found The Ravens by uh, Cass Morgan and Daniel Page. This one is also signed by the author. It came in a uh, beacon box. Um, so again, another absolute steal for $1.50. I will take it. Um, again, don't know anything about this one, but I saw it and really wanted to give it a go. I've heard good things. Becca has been reading the series and really liked it. I believe it was a, it's a duology. The second book is The Monarchs. I really like the covers of these. It just sounds like it's going to be a fun, fast-paced YA fantasy, so hopefully I can get to it. Uh, like I said, I've heard good things. This is like basically the Summary of my life. I've heard good things. I hope I get to it soon. Hopefully I love it. <laughs> up next we have a romance. I picked up King of Wrath by Anna Huang. This is her newest release. Um, this is inspired by The Seven Deadly Sins, I'm pretty sure. And um, I've heard really good things so far about this first book in the series. I don't know anything about it. Nothing. But I did really enjoy Twisted Love and Twisted Games by her, so I wanted to pick up her newest release. Um, and I absolutely love the cover. They're so simplistic, but the spine, the cover, everything about this is gorgeous. So again, because I've read some of her other work, I'm really hoping that I can get to this one and love it. Up next, we have the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Lord Olympus Volume 3 by Rachel Smythe. I have read books 1 and 2 in the series already, and I'm really looking forward to Volume 3. Unfortunately, when I was doing my bookshelf tour or something along those lines, I dropped it and severely damaged my copy. But it's okay. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to go buy a new one, even though I highly contemplated it. But I'm very excited to get around to this one. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling that has been extremely hyped up, so I'm sure you guys know all about it. I love the Barnes Noble exclusive edition covers, so I'm very excited that I was able to snag myself a copy. The last two books I bought for myself, I picked up used at the bookstore, and I was so excited to find this one at a used bookstore um, because it is a self-published book written by a booktuber here, and that is none other than Elliot Brooks, and that is Peace and Turmoil, the first book in the series. I don't know if she's writing a book too, but I have, I saw it, I thought I would grab it because it sounds like it's going to be a fun 
adult fantasy. I don't read a lot of adult fantasy and I don't believe there's an audiobook for this so I will have to, you know, struggle my way through it. But I'm excited nonetheless. Again, don't really know the synopsis of this one but saw it, knew it was by Elliot so I decided to pick it up. And the last one that I picked up used at the bookstore is also another adult fantasy. I don't know why I pick up adult fantasies when I don't read very many of them but alas, you know, it's me dreaming big for the future. <laughs> and that is The Name of All Things by Jen Lyons. This is the second book in the I don't even know the series name. Is it the Ruin of Kings? Oh, it's a Chorus of Dragons series. The first one being a Ruin of Kings. Um, I've heard really good things about this series from Jade over at Jade Rereads. So when I saw the second book in very good condition used at the bookstore, I decided to pick it up. I got it for half the cost. So I'm like, heck yeah, I'll take it. Okay, we are now moving into all of the special edition books that I have. And holy moly, there's a lot of them. So buckle your seatbelts. And I know a lot of you guys always comment in my comments that I talk really fast. I'm working on it, but also I'm really trying to get this video. So this is gonna be one of those that I talk really quickly. I apologize, hopefully you don't mind too much, but let's get into the special editions. The first two that I have here are from Al Crate Jr. The first one I have is a rover story. This is by Jasmine Warga. Um, the main character is a rover on Mars that is trying to complete his mission on Mars, but um, ends up in a sticky situation and has to get out of it. It sounds cute. I have yet to read a bunch of my Al Crate Jr. middle grade books, but I'm hoping in 2023 that'll be a new goal for me and I can get through a ton of them. The next one that I have, like I said, is from Alcrate Jr. is Into the Glades. I don't remember the synopsis of this one at all, but I do get Alcrate Jr. and Alcrate boxes sent to me for you for review. So um, a lot of the times I will read the synopsis and then unboxing and then I completely forget about the synopsis again. But this one sounds like it was going to be cute. Hopefully I can get to it again next year and love it. But we shall see. I believe Lauren Sebastian also writes YA, so I'm curious to see what she does in the middle grade genre. Up next, we have The Deaths by Nicole Lesperance. So this one came in an owl crate box. Um, this one is very pretty underneath the dust jacket. I love those end papers. It also has very, very stunning naked cover. Absolutely gorgeous, as well as some under the cover dust jacket art, which is absolutely stunning as usual. Um, I don't really remember too much about this. I believe it is. it takes place on an island and creepy stuff starts happening on that island there's a boy involved sounds like it's going to be a good fall read so i might save it for then but i'm very excited to give this one a go up next i have two books in a series that came in an illuminate box and that is uh the atlas the atlas six and the atlas paradox by olivia blake these ones are the stunning special editions with absolutely gorgeous sprayed and stencil edges i don't really remember if there's any other oh yeah there's beautiful end papers and really gorgeous embossing. Um, I have not yet read the first book in the series, but when I saw that they were coming back with their special editions, I absolutely had to snag it up because I was so sad when I missed the first drop. So I'm really excited that they did another round of it. Um, I am very excited to read this one. I've heard nothing but good things. And um, I've actually heard really good things about the sequel as well. So hopefully I can get to both of them and love it. Alexandrian Society, six people, only five get through. Maybe that other person dies. Who knows? Sounds like it's going to be fun. Then I have two books that came in my Mystic box, and this is The Blood and Roses um, Compendiums. There is volume one and volume two. I believe there are three books in each, so they're relatively short um, individual books, and then in the combined editions, they are quite chunky, but um, they look good. I honestly have zero idea about what this is about. It says, once there was a boy who lived in the dark, and he liked it, he, and he liked it there just fine. And then on the back of this one, it says, I'm sick, I'm deluded, I'm lost, I'm his. Sounds like it's going to be a very interesting dark romance. I did not read the synopsis of these after when I got them, but the covers are stunning, the edges are stunning. I'm hoping to get to them soon, so hopefully I love them. Then we have a Fairy Loot adult um, book, and that is Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. Uh, this one has, again, this stunning, stunning stenciled edges. Absolutely gorgeous. I always look forward to the Fairy Loot adult boxes because they just have some really good picks as well as absolutely stunning um, art when they do their special editions. This one I've heard a lot about, but I haven't really heard any reviews just yet. This one follows a girl whose boyfriend gets accused of killing her best friend, and then he disappears from that town for years. And then he ends up coming back years later. Obviously there's something suspicious going on since he decided to run after his um, accusation. Is that a word? When after he was accused <laughs> of murder. Um, there's also a little bit of cozy fantasy vibes going on in here. So um, it's like a cozy fantasy mystery book. So I'm hoping I like it. Adrian Young's first adult book. So hopefully I will enjoy it. Then we have an Illum Crate special edition of the Book Eaters by Sonia Dean. I have not heard the best things about this book so far, but I'm very interested to give it a go. It's not in my usual uh, type of book that I like to read, but I will definitely give it a try. Again, absolutely gorgeous underneath the dust jacket and some really beautiful 
and papers as well as stunning stencil edges i'm excited to give this one a go even though I, like i said i have heard some interesting reviews this one follows a world where in order to consume knowledge they eat pages of books but the um son of the main character decides that instead of eating pages he wants to eat brains to get consume his knowledge so it's going to sound sounds like it's going to be a very interesting dark fantasy we'll see how it goes hopefully i will enjoy it more than other people have then we have another fairy loot book and that is belladonna by adeline grace i have read an adeline grace book in the past and i thought it was okay i read her um nautical fantasy book series that i can't remember the name of at the moment all the stars and teeth maybe um and i thought it was okay i didn't love the first book as much as the second book but i'm excited to give her next release a go it's a dark fantasy i don't remember exactly what the synopsis of this is but it sounds like it's going to be fun so far the early reviews have been really good so i'm curious on the back here it says your name is no cursed little bird i just like the taste of it so interesting i'm intrigued to say the least then in my first illuminate afterlight box we got make you mine this christmas by lizzie huxley jones um this one sounds like it's going to be really cute i believe it is fake dating but then when the girl goes home to be his fake girlfriend she ends up falling for his sister there's another book that's like this i believe or maybe it's the same book and it's just the uk cover i don't really know but it sounds like it's going to be messy hot sexy sapphic we love it sign me up hopefully i can get to this one this year okay up next i feel a little conflicted talking about because i don't really support this company anymore but i did pay for this months and months and months ago um and i finally got my editions and that is the bookish box editions of zodiac academy by susan suzanne what their what are their names suzanne what the fuck susan valenti and caroline peckham oh my gosh that was like total mom brain but um they are really really pretty i'm you know happy to have my editions but i don't really love the company they're not really great so that's sad this is uh book one. Oh no i'm sorry this is book four book three Ugh, book two and a book one they do have really pretty um stencil edges and papers reversible dust jackets as well as their gorgeous underneath the dust jacket as well as well as really stunning end papers i am very happy with the additions that i got but i like i said i'm very conflicted about uh the company as a whole so i'm not going to spend too much time on these but i did add them to my collection so up next we have the dragon's promise by elizabeth Lim, the second book in the six crimson cranes series i really enjoyed six crimson cranes when i read it earlier this year so i'm excited for the sequel i've heard some mixed reviews but i am intrigued um it follows a girl who finds out some interesting thing about her stepmother and then her stepmother gets angry turns her brothers into cranes and puts a curse on her and if she utters any words then her brothers will die and she goes on a journey to try to reverse the curse it's very very uh, interesting it was a very fun but also sad and eerily quiet novel um based off the synopsis i really enjoyed it this is the um fairy loot edition i didn't get the one with the matching stenciled edges but i did get the one with the regular sprayed edges it is signed it's absolutely gorgeous underneath the dust jacket as well per usual for fairy loot but i'm very excited to get around it for book two up next we have another fairy loot adult box and that is the dowry of blood by s st gibson i have heard really good things about this book so far it was self-published and then picked up by a publisher um and now it is in the fairly box i have really been wanting to give this one a go all of my friends that have read it have really enjoyed it again stunning end papers really gorgeous stenciled edges as well as underneath the dust jacket gorgeous per usual um i don't know anything about this dracula's bride maybe um vampires blood i've heard good things so hopefully i can get to it and love it it is relatively short so we shall see we are on to our last stack i promise the next one that we have here is the the illuminaries by susan dennard i believe this is an owl crate special edition it is absolutely stunning underneath the dust jacket i'm really happy to have this um i've heard really good things about this particular book i have not read any susan dennard before but um this one has been getting really great early reviews. I don't know anything about it. On the back it says, we are lanterns the forest can never snuff out. Um, like I said, great early reviews. Hopefully I can get to it soon. Then I have the Owl Crate special edition of the much-awaited sequel, which is Bloodmark by Tracy Dion. I've heard nothing but fantastic reviews about the second book in the series. I absolutely loved book one. So when I tell you I am beyond excited to read book two, I cannot wait but i plan on doing a reread of book one before i get to book two so it'll take me a little bit to get to it but oh my gosh it was such a fun first book in a series the cliffhanger was fantastic if you have not already heard about this where have you been i highly recommend picking up legendborn it is so so worth it um the owl crate special edition does have some really gorgeous 
end papers as well as a really pretty like light blue underneath the dust jacket um and then some reversible dust jacket art as well like i said i'm so pumped for book two so hopefully i can reread book one like next month and then get to this one asap i can't remember if i already hauled this one this is the second book in the oh man once upon a broken heart series mom brain is for real um the ballad of never after by stephanie garber this is the owl crate special edition um it did come with some art as well as a bookmark but it also has a really gorgeous end papers fantastic foiling on the front of the, the book here and then some more under the cover dust jacket art i have yet to read book one in this series and i own two copies of that book <laughs> and now i own the second book and have yet to read it so we shall see if i ever get around to it i've heard good things but i've been um intrigued on in picking up carval first even though you don't have to read carval in order to read this one they are set in the same world but are not that connected but still i feel like i have to read her first book her first series first before I get to this one so it may take me a while but I'm glad to have this one. Then we have another fairly adult box and that is Poster Girl by Veronica Roth. This one does have really pretty stencil edges. This is a dystopian. I don't really know too much more about that. I believe the main character used to be a poster girl for like this um, regime and now that it has fallen she is facing the backlash but it's also a dystopian so I have no idea what it's going to entail after that. I have not loved Veronica Roth's work in the past so I'm curious to see what I'm gonna feel about this one but I'll give it a try. Then we have One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig, another beautiful book. Uh, Fairy and Illumicrate really just be killing it with the books and special editions, I swear. Um, I love it when they do covers like this. I'm obsessed. And again, another reversible dust jacket. I don't remember anything about the synopsis of this one. Um, dark Fantasy, YA. Sign me up. Then we have a uh, additional book that came in the fairy loot box and that is Princess of Souls by Alexandra Cristo. I have read a book by Alexandra Cristo in the past and I really enjoyed it so I'm excited to give this one a go. I believe this is another retelling but I don't know what it's, what it's a retelling of. I'll give it a go. I liked her last book. It wasn't a favorite but I did enjoy it so hopefully I will get to this one and feel the same way. Then we had an additional book that came in the Owl Crate box which is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett and they do these like classics in these editions for the additional books and the Alcroy boxes. I have never read this book. I'm not a huge classic girly, but I figured I would give it a try. Then I have two books that came in my bell box recently. The first one being Second Chance Contract by Emma Robinson. I didn't know anything about this. Um, I get them in the special edition boxes. They're absolutely stunning. I love the hardcover special edition. They're gorgeous. The back is also very pretty. Um, so I don't really read the synopsis of these ones. I just get excited because I love romances and I'm happy to get hardcovers of them. Another one that I got is Make You Hate Me by Candy Steiner. I have read a Candy Steiner book in the past and I absolutely loved it. So I'm very excited to get around to this one. Again, it's absolutely stunning. So hopefully I love it. Then I have two copies of the same book. One came in an Owl Crate, one came in an Illumicrate and that is The Whispering Dark. Uh, this one has absolutely beautiful stencil edges. Like I'm obsessed with it. I'm really sad that this one doesn't have sprayed edges because it's a missed opportunity, but I love this cover. I love it. This one also has really gorgeous end papers, some embossing as well as under the cover dust jacket art. And I believe the same goes for the Illumicrate cover. Yes, really gorgeous end papers, some embossing as well as under the cover dust jacket art. So I'm excited to get to this one. It's a dark fantasy. I believe that it has something to do with a boy that died um the deaf main character also the uh author is also deaf so it's own voices i'm excited to give this one a go i have heard really great reviews of this one so far so hopefully i love it okay and the last book we're going to talk about is also going to lead us into our giveaway so the, the book i'm talking about is these twisted bonds by lexi ryan i accidentally bought two copies of this one with the solid sprayed edges and one that matches my edition with the stenciled edges so i'm going to be giving the solid sprayed edge book away uh this is the second book in the these hollow vows duology i believe um it is a fey romance story very much uh in the same vein as uh akatar so i'm excited to read the duology as a whole i have not yet read the first book but since i have a duplicate copy i will be giving this away as well as one more thing fairy loot has been on a roll of accidentally sending me duplicate boxes so this is another case of that i already had this box they sent me another one so i'm gonna do a giveaway of it um i did this in my last book haul i believe but you know fine by me I don't mind. Um, this is the box that has the additional book Princess of, Princess of Souls by Alexander Cristo and One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. So you will be getting these two special editions as well as everything that came in the box. I will not divulge what's in the box that way when you get it you can open it and be surprised but um it does come with these two wonderful special edition books. So if you guys are interested in winning the giveaway stay tuned for the rules. 
So just like my last giveaway, there will be two winners for this giveaway just because I know some people are going to be interested in one more than the other. But basically all you have to do to win the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below that you are entering the giveaway and which giveaway you would like to win. And then after a week from today, I will pick two winners and send them out. This is going to be US only just because I cannot afford to send it outside of the US so I very much apologize for that. I know a lot of my subscribers are from Canada and outside of the US. Um, I just I apologize. I'm sorry but I just can't afford it at this time. Um, so I also would like to disclose that when they sent me the copy of this these Twisted Bonds it did come bent so this one does have a slight damage to it so keep that in mind if you were entering the giveaway for these Twisted Bonds. I just want to be transparent with you guys. So again, very, very simple. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below which giveaway you want to enter. And then a week from today, I will pick the winners. I will reach out to you in the comments. And then from there, we will facilitate a means of communication. So make sure that you don't put your socials or anything like that in the comments because YouTube loves to delete those kind of comments. So I want everyone to have a fair chance at winning. So make sure to just put that information in there and not anything more. Okay, I think that's the end of this video. There's absolutely no way I can hold up all of these books because there are just too, too many. Um, but if you made it to the end of this video, leave a book stack emoji just to let me know you made it to the end if you don't want to comment anything else. I really appreciate you guys. I know this was a long video, so I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks, baby. Turn it down, nigga.